ozone at ground level is hazardous to people's health, but ozone in the stratosphere protects us from the sun's ultraviolet radiation. This satellite image from NASA in March shows a large hole in the ozone layer above the North Pole. It looks like a hole to most people, but to scientists, it's the largest ozone depletion event ever measured there. What sort of caused this event was the strong stratospheric polar vortex. And when I say polar vortex, I'm just referring to the winds that regularly blow around the pole. Amy Butler with NOAA in Boulder is an expert in polar stratospheric science. She says when the polar vortex is strong, it keeps a tight hold of the cold air above the North Pole. And this year, it was at record strength. That really cold air mixed with the return of sunlight to the North Pole in late winter, and that created a reaction that depleted the ozone. With that air contained to the North Pole, places like Alaska experienced record warm temperatures this winter, while occasional spills of that vortex air hit the northeast U.S. with frigid cold. This ozone depletion event can be described as a whole, but scientists do not use that term when talking about the North Pole. The use of the term whole is generally reserved for the Antarctic um, because it's a, it's a much bigger feature. Butler says the more infamous ozone hole is over the South Pole. Last year, it was one of the smallest occurrences ever measured in the satellite era, but that was still bigger than this record event over the North Pole this year. Meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen, 9 News.